Uh, I'm just going to talk about a few of my favorite records. Uh, the one I wanted to start with is uh, John Coltrane's A Love Supreme, a uh, record from 1965 that uh, really showed John Coltrane searching for something uh, spiritual and searching for something higher, a higher message, and really uh, getting the spirituality out in his music. Um, a few other things. Um, great Lee Morgan record, The Sidewinder. This was uh, a bit of a hit single in the early 60s and it really showed that you didn't have to uh, compromise artistically to have a commercial success. This was a big hit, wonderful, wonderful record. Um, another record that uh, is close to my heart is uh, this record, uh, We Want Miles because this recording uh, is from a tour that uh, Miles Davis did after he was off for about five years and as part of this tour he came to Vancouver and played the Queen Elizabeth Theatre and did an incredible show with uh, Mike Stern ripping it up on, uh, on electric guitar and uh, the saxophonist Bill Evans playing along with him. This was really the comeback for Miles Davis. A um, couple of other interesting things here. I've got a, a couple of records that have the same cover. Uh, the, uh, the same record with, with uh, different covers. This is a, a 1954 Thelonious Monk Trio recording. And this was the cover from North America. And uh, interestingly enough, it was put out in Europe with uh, quite a different cover on a different label. And uh, looks much more interesting with uh, some great Thelonious Monk. One of my favorite records that combines uh, a couple of uh, my favorite subjects in, in jazz is uh, Chris, McGregor, Chris McGregor's Brotherhood of Breath. This is a, a group of South African exiles that moved to Europe in the late 60s and really turned the British music scene upside down with uh, some wonderful creative big band stuff, great improvisation, uh, just out there blowing and uh, really, really soulful, soulful music. Wonderful stuff.